What's up guys? It's uh, day two in Oita, Japan. Um, just woke up uh, a few hours ago and now I'm ready to leave. So we need to buy a plane ticket to, or train ticket, sorry, to, I believe, somewhere near Osaka, to get to Osaka. Um, but yeah, so I have to do that. I have no clue what to say or do. So, um, wish me luck. So I'm excited to try this because this is actually from Japan, so I mean, I sure hope it's going to be phenomenal. I'm going to find a place to sit. All you guys are dressed up with, uh, with suits and stuff, and it's like really, really fun. But here I am with you know, my black roshis, my base joggers, my v-neck t-shirt. Um, so I'm feeling definitely a little uh, undressed over here. So I actually bought two. I couldn't decide which one to buy, so I ended up buying two anyways, and they're um, about two bucks each. So the croissant tayaki. It's actually taiyaki made with croissants. So, that's pretty dope. Um, I actually didn't know that before I bought it. Uh, but now looking at, um, now looking at the actual taiyaki itself, um, I was like, why is it so crispy and kind of sticky and flaky? Um, but I realized, hey, that's actually croissant. So anyways, I can't wait, so let's, let's try it out. Oh my god. This is the best thing I've eaten. Period. But so everyone's looking at me while I'm eating this. It feels like I'm having like a food gas over here. But uh, it's not fake man. This is this is fucking good. So you you'll see here that there's actually cream inside. So th this, this is the cream flavor. Um, and it's not really overly done as well. A lot of the times um, when I see online like online a lot of the, the, the creams are like puffed out of the tacky and the one I had in Toronto was um, like really thick. Um, this one's just really moist and, and this is a, it's a good amount for sure. I'm gonna take another bite in the middle because I've, I've been taking the, the corners, the edges. Um, those are really crispy and, and buttery, so I'm just gonna try this. I should've got the 10, 10 for um, whatever deal. Two is not enough. Oh, God. Cut the video, cut the video. All right, round two. Well, you see the kind of like a square here, and, and that's part of the, uh, uh, I guess, add more of the croissant texture feel. And at first I didn't like, didn't like it that much. Uh, this is, it's kind of weird. And I like the fish kind of shape. Uh, and that's the Instagram as well. Uh, but it actually tastes really good. Uh, it's for the people who like, really like crispy stuff. Like my mom, for example, um, she would like always eat anything crispy. I don't really like understand. She really, whoa, oh fuck, yo, watch out, guys, is it gone? A few moments later. Hmm, it has a lot of flavor to it. It's uh, it looks kind of brown actually. If you look in the light, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it actually looks pretty brown uh, compared to like the normal red beans. Mm. I dropped the red bean. I failed you. Um, I tried to work again. I, I tried your new things you had to experience and had to offer. Uh, but you know, uh, quite literally. Yeah. Alright. I can't wait any longer. Just finished delicious desserts. Should eat just five of those things a day. Call it a, call it a meal.
really nice weather, so I'm just literally walking around the city. I have no plan, no clue, no itinerary. Um, literally just walking around, just checking out the the city. Um, again, it's extremely gorgeous weather. I honestly, I can get used to this. There are actually mountains behind me, and it's kind of local Japan. And they just, and I've only been here for a day, so I haven't seen a bunch of it, but. You probably guys can't see that, but the video won't do justice at all. Um, it's so much be more beautiful in person. It just, it's just breathtaking, literally. I think that's the that's the only way I can describe it. Um, but you just can't believe that nature is is that beautiful. You see up there, like the, the red uh, square there is actually a train. Now I guess it kind of travels, I guess, around the town, I guess. Uh, but I did, yeah, it makes sense. I have to check it out where that train goes. Uh, that might be actually. I'm an idiot. I, that's probably the train I'm taking tomorrow. <laughs> that's uh, I, I literally came here to buy train tickets, and that's definitely the train place. So um, I'm an idiot. Um, literally, the entire day was for that one thing. But uh, um, I guess it comes in full circle. All right. So I'm super full, but I just went walked past this crazy-looking place. And it looks delicious. Uh, looks like some kind of ice cream thing with a donut or something. Um, but here's the full menu. Well, I can eat six of them, I just don't want to because I gotta save some for Lena. Um, so I gotta do that and then uh, hopefully bus home before I'm, let's go right into it. Um, I actually don't know what flavors are, uh, any of these are because they're all in Japanese. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the first one, I guess. Um, they're all different colors, so I know they're all different flavors. This one looks like it's dark brown, red, um, yellow, green, so obviously probably green tea. This is probably vanilla, ch strawberry or something, chocolate, um, iron, and I think it's kind of gold. And the guy gave me this thing too, I don't know what, oh, it's ice! Oh, that's so cool. I guess I don't have to worry about um, it melting then, I guess, because he was like, yeah. He, did I want him? I was like, yo, if it's free, I'll take it. So I, I took it. Um, yeah, I guess he's uh, cools the box up or something. So anyways, I'm going to open the first one. So it is kind of like a burger, actually. It actually looks a lot like a burger. So I'll open it up a bit. Um, I'll take it out for you to show, show you. So this is this is what it looks like, actually. So it looks like it looks kind of like a cheap like hamburger for you from McDonald's. Um, no disrespect, McDonald's though. Best restaurant in the world. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like a. It feels like a hamburger bun, sort of. A bit softer. Um, it's a bit well wet, probably because of the ice cream. Um, and it's really soft. Uh, it's like a, it's a, it's like fluffy kind of in a way. I'm actually not sure if it's, if it's ice cream. But I think it might be cream. Uh, again, I don't, I don't speak any Japanese. I don't understand any of it. Uh, I just bought it because it was a big lineup, and uh, it looks pretty good. So, it's a first, first bite. Don't know what flavor it is. Um, but just say flavor one. I'm not sure what that is. Kind of like, kind of like cream puff. It's definitely not a, like a really sweet uh, dessert, but it's definitely satisfying your sweetness if you have a sweet tooth. We're gonna try the second one. Uh, it's a red one. Mm. Okay. Okay. So that's definitely red bean, 100%. Uh, you can see here that there's actually a lot of cream. Um, just a side of here is like uh, a lot of bread, but in the middle is jam packed with uh, with cream. Mm. It's not sweet at all, um, but it has enough sweetness to again to like satisfy your sweet tooth for sure. Mm. Yeah. So the cream itself is actually pretty good. Um, it's it's really creamy. And it goes well with the bread because the bread is pretty light too. Um, you don't want kind of overpowering the other one because um, a lot of times when you eat desserts, like the, the insides are really sweet and you don't taste the bread at all. 
or you just want more bread because it's so sweet. Um, but this one actually goes really well. Like you, I taste the bread, I taste the, the red bean. So busing in, in Japan is actually kind of weird. Um, instead of going to the front as you would in Canada, and then they're kind of like paying for your bus and then leaving wherever you want, uh, you actually go inside the bus first in the back, and then you pay before you leave in the front. Um, so the reason I did, they do that is actually pretty smart. Um, it's not, it's not weird, that's actually really smart. And I think Canada should adapt that as well. But uh, they essentially, they do that because they keep track of your your mileage, so uh, your distance, how you travel. And then you pay based on like how far you went. I'm gonna wait here and this is for the bus. And then I'll catch up with you guys later.